Good morning, this is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets, talking about markets while I drive. Let's kick off. Okay, right, Bitcoin, interesting enough, we'll keep it short, because we're gonna bore everyone to tears. But Bitcoin's gone very quiet lately. The volumes have dropped down to, I think, a four or five month low. For some reason, it's just not happening when it comes to Bitcoin, and I can't put any particular reason on it. Uh, Bitcoin went up to 31 and a half thousand. From there, I did say that's gonna to go to 35. Got it wrong. For all those viewers who keep telling me you got it wrong, especially Jimmy in London, got that one wrong absolutely got other things right but got that one wrong and it's come all the way down to below 26,000 25,000 is a major support level remember up to 25,000 was resistance level and then from 25 above becomes support so it could test the 25,000 level if it drops below 25,000 again Bitcoin is binary it's either up or down but if it drops below the 25,000 level, then 22,000 is the next support. Bitcoin being the flagship of the crypto sector, it is a leading indicator, obviously, where crypto is going to go. Some theories and ideas why it's dropped. I know that Elon Musk got rid of a ton of uh, cryptos last week or a week and a half ago. Was it last week, a week and a half ago? I can't remember. Um, there's a lot of pressure from CBDC. Some of the banks could be putting on pressure as well. And um, the hedge funds have gone, uh, BlackRock have gone particularly long on uh, Bitcoins and cryptos. I don't think it's going to go away. I don't think it's the end of cryptos. That's for sure. We do need it to maintain a degree of independence, considering all the governments in the West, at least, are getting rid of the use of cash, which is one of the reasons why BRICS is getting are going to be very, very popular. We can rely or depend or trust China and Russia. Um, but um, getting rid of cash, which is anonymous, purchasing and anonymous trading. Uh, Bitcoin at the moment is anonymous purchasing and trading. If you get rid of those two, air, uh, those two items, then it's full governmental control across the board, which could be dangerous. Uh, regional banks in the US are in trouble. They are gonna go into a crisis towards the end of 2023. They've got trillions loaned out and small businesses are suffering. I've already covered that on a few other videos and that's likely to happen towards the end of 2023. Could see a major crash of the regional banks in the US in 2024. And markets, I think, are gonna trend down. I think they've come to a, a particular plateau at the moment, not much there to push them up. So I think you could see near term markets falling that near term means over a few week period not a few hour period there's not a day trade i'm talking about a swing trade particularly here interest rates likely to go up in the us two more times in my opinion um fx dxy dollar index for my major colleague analyst reader well done looks like the dxy index dollar index is trending down going to go down back to the 102 level near term looks like that's likely to happen based on a technical correction if it falls below that then you could have equity markets moving up they will need a weaker dollar for the next bounce in equity markets that's more or less it tonight for now keeping it short and sweet with mayor Valensky and driving markets you can share subscribe comment get my book on amazon have a great day